Now then, we are just a week away from the start of the Grand National Festival at Aintree. And for owners and trainers across the country, it's an anxious wait to find out if their horse will make the cut for this year's big race. Currently, 81 horses are vying for one of the 40 places in the Grand National starting lineup. Among them is 100 to 1 shot, just a par. Chris Hall has spent the day in Cartmel in Cumbria to see him being put through his paces. Okay, so this is uh, just a par, our national contender for this year. He's one of British racing's top 10 trainers with decades spent both in and out of the saddle. But all that experience won't stop Jimmy Moffat's getting misty eyed about Grand National Week. That is the, the greatest race in the world, no question in my mind, the Grand National. So to be part of that is incredible. It's a wonderful experience and um, yeah, very intense. My first runner in the National was in 2010 and I must say I was like a cat on a hot tin roof. You were very nervous for the weeks before and I think you're just acutely aware of every piece of work and every exercise and every time he takes a, a step out of his box that, that you want everything to go right. Like Jimmy, just a par isn't new to the National, completing the race in 2016 and 17. He came to the Cumbrian Hills near Cartmel last year and has been trained with one race in mind ever since. He's quick to react when, when things that he's not sure of and I think possibly that's one of the things that makes him into a very good jumper of the National Fences because he's alert. I mean, I'm quite surprised he's let me stand with him now, to be honest with you. And it's the 10-year-old just a par. Harry Cobden has brought him from way back in the field to take the lead and he moves on by two lengths. Just a par goes on to win. We're very hopeful of him to run in a very big race on the big day. His jockey, certainly Sean Quinlan, He's very hopeful of this horse being in the top ten in the national. That's a great achievement in itself, but it, it does give you licence to dream a little bit that anything can happen, especially from a small stable. It's an event where an old head can lead the way. This is Highland Lodge. He's a Beecher Chase winner. Um,